Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, welcome to the technical analysis of the Forex market from forexpsami.com. So today the September 29th and we will continue to talk about euro as usual. So where are we here? Let's take a look at that. We start from, from the daily time frame. Well, yesterday we have discussed the possibility of twofold uh, opposite signals. What we should watch for if we are bearish and what we should watch for if we are bullish. So market hasn't accomplished neither first scenario nor second. Because our first scenario was the hitting of that area of resistance and showing some reversal patterns. We said that this probably could be the butterfly sell or something. Then returns right back. So market hasn't right, quite accomplished that. So it hasn't quite reached the intraday target. It hasn't quite reached that area of resistance. But still it, it has pulled back inside this bearish wedge. From the other point of view, market hasn't quite reached the 618 support from the recent swing on the intraday chart inside this bear, uh, bullish wedge. And for, from that purpose, uh, from the classical uh, approach of trading of the bullish wedges, we can't say that probably it's time to buy currently. So what could we do in general uh, during today trading session? What we have to watch for? First of all, you can see now clearly that MACD, daily MACD has turned bullish. So market now has the bullish trend on the daily time frame. Also you can see that bullish divergence that we have discussed yesterday. So still market has closed above the weekly pivot point and in, stand, in general it stands above the weekly pivot point currently. Just above the market and just above the this wage pattern stands daily confidence resistance 137 or 8 that is also in agreement with the intraday 1618 extension target and also Pay attention, that is the weekly pivot resistance one, 137.04. The next area of resistance right here, the major 3.8 uh, resistance from whole swing to the downside, 138.16, and level of daily ever bought that we have discussed yesterday, 138.28. So, but uh, today we will particularly interest in that level. Very probable, since this recent price action is very choppy, that uh, so market currently has no solid momentum as to the upside as to the downside and very often when market meets during such kind of price actions solid levels of support and resistance it very often we could say even uh, as a rule shows the respect of that areas so I suggest that if even if market will show this breakout and continue move to the upside when it will hit that area during the first touch of this from from that area it will show some pullback maybe retest this upper border of this wedge from the another side now from the upside okay so some kind of respect probably will happen when the market will reach it that's give us the solid advantage now let's take a look on the four hour time frame what do we see here is our target 1618 extension from that a b c bottom pattern 1618 stands precisely in the same area of the daily confidence resistance 13702 so that is really strong area of support but still we see some fake out of that trending trend line of the bearish wedge and returns back also pay attention that this swing to the downside was greater than the recent swing to the upside so that could be the first signal of the potential short term reversal on the market so it tells that probably market could continue to move to the downside anyway if you are bullish this is not time to buy since just above the market stands the very solid area of resistance and the distance to that area is not very significant it's about even less than 100 pips okay so if you intend to buy here you should understand where you will place your stop and if your risk reward ratio will be less than uh, e uh, less than uh, one then probably it's not very wise to enter that trade also take a look that for our trend has turned bearish and we see our one of the our forums has shown on our forum that hidden divergence that I mm, use in current research so it's very good 
uh, observation. So you can see this is the hidden bearish reversions with that downside move. MACD indicator will show high high, high top, while the price action doesn't confirm that. This is the hidden divergence and uh, we should treat it like the um, market could show some deeper move to the downside, at least in the short term perspective. So market could uh, dive a bit deeper in this resin swing to the upside. That is what we could say from the uh, four hour time frame. So if, if you are bearish, probably you, you could try to sell in somewhere in that area with the placing stop somewhere above uh, that level. But in, in this case, uh, your risk reward ratio will be also not very significant, but better than for the uh, bullish trade currently. So uh, our um, scenario for the bullish trading uh, in fact remains the same. We need the pullback deeper to the 618 support uh, from that recent swing and watch how market will behave in that area. Um, <coughs> because if market will hold there and accelerates to the upside, it could lead us to treat this uh, trading of this uh, bullish wedge pattern from the classical standpoint that market hasn't quite reached the lower body. A reverse here for our time frame will turn to the upside and probably we could after that we could speak that probably market could show some breakout with that upper body. <coughs> Pardon me. But currently it's not uh, so. And currently I personally I do not want to buy in that area. Mm, okay. On the hourly time frame we see precisely that area that we have just speaked about, spoken about. Well, take a look at that pattern A, B, C top. The 100% extension that A, B, C, D move makes creates an agreement with the 618 support that we have just discussed, 130, 34.70. From that low to that high, 618 support stands right here. Okay, that is an agreement. And if market will hold above that area, reverse to the upside, and will turn both trends as hourly as for our time frame to the upside. Then probably after that we could try to enter on the long side of the market with the place and stop somewhere below an agreement. Well, until that moment, the enter on the long side of the market is a bit unsafe and risky since it's just very strong area of resistance stands just about the bearish, uh, just about the wedge pattern. Well, uh, from that standpoint, it's safer to sell currently than rather than to buy. Because if market evil will hit that area, then probably during the first touch, will, it will show some retesting of that level. So at least it will show some respect and that will allow you to exit uh, with the much less uh, lose than if you will uh, try to buy here. Okay. So that's current trading plan for the trading session for the current trading session so if you are bearish probably you could try to uh, search for the sell signals on the 5 minute chart in that area uh, with the hope that market will show some ABCD deeper move uh, especially because you have a very significant area where you could place the stop just above that area okay and second because market now uh, is showing some um, really some bearish patterns on the intraday charts if you are bullish um, i think that it will be safer if you will wait for the 13470 area from that agreement 13450 13470 and wait for the bullish uh, patterns on the intraday charts in that area if you will see some probably you could try to enter along from that area when the trends hourly trend and for our trend will turn bullish uh, well, this is, will be much safer to enter mm, in the hope that market will can show, at least will show this upper breakout of this mm, bullish wedge. So, so that's our current view on this situation. Uh, be careful uh, and watch for clear patterns because market is currently is very mm, choppy and um, is the object of the fake outs and uh, failure breakouts of different uh, important levels. So trade wise. And control your risk.